this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable and use the HDMI 2, otherwise known as the spot mode on your DVR. Now this particular DVR has two HDMI outputs. On the first HDMI output, which is called HDMI 1, we're able to access the main menu and all of the settings. On the HDMI 2, or spot mode, we'll only receive a display of cameras. We won't be able to manage the system from that screen. So first, in order to enable that second HDMI output, we have to go on the main menu. I'm going to log in using the graphical user password here. It's going to take us to the first screen on our XVR or DVR. Here we can see we have video, alarm, and IVS. And then down here you can see there's two dots. Now this is page one, and we want to go to page two. It's going to highlight here. We're going to click. It's going to take us to page two where we see backup, display, and audio. Now we want to go to display in the middle here. We can see on the left hand side we have main screen which is our HDMI 1 that we're currently on with the mouse in front of us here. We can change the settings on there, uh, we can set the resolution, but we're concerned about the extra screen which in this case is our HDMI 2. So of course we want to go ahead and, and enable this here. We see HDMI 2, it's got a resolution of 1080p. Uh, you will of course want to make sure that your monitor or TV can support whatever resolution you set the extra screen or HDMI 2 to. Um, so this same TV, we're going to use this as the example for both of our TVs um, and we have it set to HDMI 1 and 2 on the monitor just for an example. So we'll leave it on 1080p for both the main screen and our extra screen here. We've enabled the HDMI 2 or extra screen. We're going to click apply. Our screen's going to flash real quick and we'll confirm our settings here. It's enabled, set to 1080p, our main screen set to 1080p. Now. You can see we've already set everything up here, and it's important to know there is also a tour setting, but we'll cover that here in just a second. But we've already set up our second HDMI, so let's see what kind of input we get from our second HDMI here. So we'll go to HDMI 2. It's going to take a second for our TV to switch over. And now as you can see, we just get a grid of cameras and a timestamp at the top right hand side. I'm moving the mouse but I have nothing on my screen. I have a mouse right here, I'm not getting anything on my screen. In spot mode, you will not be able to configure it. Some customers, when they first get the system, accidentally plug their system into HDMI 2, not realizing that it's the extra screen. Then we get a phone call saying they can't control it, but that's just because they're on HDMI 2. We'll put this back on HDMI 1 and explain the tour setting in case you want to set HDMI 2 up to a specific set of cameras or you want it to cycle through some of your cameras. So wait for HDMI 1 to come back up, and we'll navigate back into main menu, into our display settings. And now we can say we have display at the top, and then the third tab down is our tour tab. And we have main screen and extra screen, so you can set up a tour on the main screen if nobody's going to be using it, or nobody's going to be managing the system, then you can of course enable this here. But in this case we were worried about the extra screen or HDMI 2, we are going to want to enable the tour. And we have a whole lot of different views here. So view 1, view 4, view 9, view 16. This will depend on whatever DVR you have of what vin window splits you can do on the extra screen. In this one, we really don't care about all of our view 1s. We don't want it to cycle through there on our view 1. So we'll go ahead and uncheck all those. We'll click apply. Uh, view 4, we do care about the four views, so we'll leave those checked. We'll want it to cycle through channels 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 12, just for a nice four camera grid view cycling through all our cameras. And then, well you know what, we want to really monitor the first nine channels, so we'll have one of those views up pop up too. And we don't care about the overall 16 camera grid view, so we'll go ahead and click apply here. Now what this is going to do is actually set this up to, on every five seconds, go through each one of these views that we have enabled. So we only have five views enabled, and we can see what kind of views we would get. So now we have our nine grid view. It'll cycle through one through four. Then we have five through eight. Nine through twelve. and 13 through 16. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.